So, we've got some big Spider-Man, Tom Holland Spider-Man, MCU Spider-Man, insider news and leaks reports to break down today, which I think many people and the majority of you all will find good. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk all things major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. I'm your host, Chris, and today... This Spider-Man update coming from well-known insider, My Time to Shine Hello, who has a very high accuracy rating, at least among inside scoopers who have these anonymous sources. My Time to Shine Hello has been one of the most accurate. We have three tweets from yesterday that we will be talking about, but we've also had other updates since these tweets have come out, and we'll be diving into what it means, theories, plot leaks, and much, much more in today's video. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our other major movie and television news updates happening daily here on the channel. You can also follow me on my other socials, Instagram at Chris M. Rosser and Twitter at The Culture Chris. Links to both of those can be found in the description down below. So here are what the three tweets say. It's very interesting and fun stuff. First off, Holland signed his new huge deal in secret. Second, Tom Holland, the lead in Kang Dynasty. Let's go. And third, Spider-Man 4 will come out before Secret Wars. So those are the three tweets that have sparked a lot of Spider-Man hype and excitement. And yes, I would even deign to say one is a bit of a plot leak for Kang Dynasty. If Tom Holland is the lead character in Kang Dynasty, well... That's going to bring up a lot of questions of what his trilogy is going to be about and how it's going to get us to the point where Tom Holland will go from nobody knows Peter Parker to Spider-Man might be the lead of the Avengers. Well, we need to start with the first tweet because that's the beginning. Tom Holland has signed a secret deal. Now, I'm not going to overhype the secret deal because they're all secret. I don't think Marvel's really ever come out and said, oh my gosh, we just signed a new three movie deal with Robert Downing Jr. Get everybody very, very excited. Typically, they're all done in pretty secret situations and we learn more as leaks and stuff comes out, which is exactly what this is. If it was a secret deal, the very fact that we all know it now is because it's a leak. But exciting nonetheless. There have been a lot of rumors about Tom Holland signing a six movie deal for the last several months. Now, this would be a new Spider-Man trilogy, two Avengers movies, and maybe one other side project. That was the assumption. This would have Spider-Man show up in a lot of movies. Actually, probably close to the most out of any Marvel character. Civil War, Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3, the Homecoming trilogy. And then, of course, Avengers Endgame and Avengers Infinity War. Now we're expecting Spider-Man 4, 5, and 6, Kang Dynasty, Secret Wars, and maybe some Disney Plus projects as well. Plus, who knows what else was in this secret contract. Spider-Man is going to be, what it appears to us, the point guy for the rest of the multiverse saga, at least for the Avengers. We have the Fantastic Four coming, and they're going to be their own group. We have some mutants coming, at least multiversal mutants, and they're going to be their own group. But the Avengers will still be around. Now, at the moment, there are no established Avengers, and we're all talking about who will be the guy, the new Iron Man, the new Captain America, the leader of the Avengers. Could it fall to Thor? Potentially, but he's really dealing with a lot right now, and Chris Hemsworth himself doesn't even know how much longer he will be playing Thor. So it's likely he won't be the leader, since he's not from Earth, and he's kind of preoccupied both as an actor and as a character. Then we have to talk about Sam Wilson, the new Captain America, who naturally would fill the void as the leader of the Avengers, but the actor himself has recently come out and talked about how that might not be the case. How Sam Wilson has to overcome being a normal human. He isn't Steve Rogers, he's just a guy who knew Steve Rogers and now has some wings and a shield. It's an interesting take from Anthony Mackie, who we all probably were expecting to take on the mantle of the leadership role. But now, with this second tweet that we're hearing, Spider-Man is going to be the main character of Kang Dynasty, well, that really goes to show us that he is the point guy, the center guy, 
the leader of the Avengers. Now, this will be something that's really cool to see because one of the biggest complaints about Tom Holland's MCU Spider-Man is he's been babysat by Iron Man, by Doctor Strange, by his friends, by other Spider-Men. At zero point, has this Spider-Man been independent and capable? Well, that's what this new trilogy is going to be about, creating a new independent Spider-Man, Tom Holland, the leader of the Avengers, more than just your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Now, there is a certain amount of excitement going around for the possibility of a grounded neighborhood Spider-Man, but I think naturally, given the excitement of this character who is very arguably one of the most popular superheroes of all time across any type of superhero fandom, is going to be a bigger role, a central role of the Avengers, of the big group fighting. So you see where we're really going with this. Yes, a couple moments of a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, a grounded street fighting Spider-Man, maybe with Daredevil, the Defenders, that'll be really cool. But ultimately, Tom Holland's Spider-Man, Spider-Man as a comic book character, and overall the name of Spider-Man breathes something much more than just a neighborhood Spider-Man, just a friendly guy who fights some crime. He's destined to be the point guy. And I think that's a really cool direction for him. And I think it would be a really fun development that Spider-Man isn't just this goofy, reckless kid who makes mistakes and doesn't do what he's supposed to and needs a babysitter, but goes on to become the central figure of the Avengers, the communication point between the Avengers and the mythic arts with Doctor Strange, maybe with the Fantastic Four and the mutants. He's that connecting creature, which just might be the centralized role that we see from him during King Dynasty, since it will be Spider-Man centric. Now the last tweet we need to talk about is a real simple one. It's kind of gives a lot, but also doesn't. Spider-Man 4 will come out before Secret Wars. Now it doesn't specifically say Kang Dynasty, but it also doesn't say after Kang Dynasty. So there's a lot of room for interpretation here. If we get Spider-Man Kang Dynasty and it's a Spider-Man centric movie, I personally would like to have Spider-Man 4 happen before Kang Dynasty. Now in this tweet, it specifies before Secret Wars and not before Kang Dynasty. So, it doesn't say yes, it doesn't say no, but I really do hope it comes before that Kang Dynasty movie so we can have an update about what's going on with Spider-Man. Maybe even have that one friendly neighborhood Spider-Man film and then towards the end or in a post credit scene, we get the idea of how Spider-Man will be central in Kang Dynasty. Overall, this is a big plot point for a massive character in the MCU, a massive superhero that everybody, for the most part, loves and loves to see. Tom Holland has done a great job embodying the Spider-Man, the Peter Parker, a very good mixture of the two, and I can't wait to see more of him, especially since it sounds like we will be getting much, much more with him due to a secret contract and all that that entails. Now, we don't know what's in the deal. Hopefully we can get an update as more information comes to light. But let me know what you think about this Avengers King Dynasty plot leak that Spider-Man will be the central character in the comments section down below. As always, thank you to everybody watch the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, or entertaining, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell. And I shall be catching all of you guys in the next one right here on Cosmic Culture.